hearing, seeing and practicing from turn to me and understand from I is the body of life. The beginning of the way is to turn attention to the spiritual master and listen to his teaching argument relative to narcissists, divine ignorance and the spiritual way, way of life. This becomes consideration or natural and intelligent self-observation in response to the spiritual master's inquiry. What are, you, what are you doing? What are you always doing? When this consideration has become profound, that is the beginning of true hearing or understanding. Such hearing or understanding naturally magnifies the degree of energy and attention that is free or available for this process that is the way. Therefore, those who have begun to hear or understand also begin to hear more and more. They do not merely attend or listen to the spiritual master. They serve the spiritual master and the entire company of devotees who gather in response to the spiritual master. And in that service, which is an expression of the true surrender that comes with the awakening of understanding, they are open to the divine blessing power or spiritual radiation that is always given through the spiritual master. Therefore, those who hear and surrender also see or receive the revelation of the spiritual divine. That revelation may appear in many different forms at first and over time, but it is basically the transmission of the tangible current of love bliss. That current is the radiant baptism whereby the transcendental divine being becomes obvious. In that transmission, all the forms of obstruction or subcontraction in body, emotion, mind, or any dimension of the grosser or subtler spheres of manifest being, are suspended. All the knots in the body-mind self become untied as if transparent or non-existent, and the divine identity and condition of self and nature are directly realised. Therefore, hearing or understanding and seeing or awakening and conversion to the revelation of the spiritual divine in the company of the spiritual master are the two fundamental elements that provide the original and perpetual foundation of practice in this way of radical understanding or divine ignorance. The initial period in which hearing and seeing take place does not generally involve any personal contact with the spiritual master. It is rather a preparatory phase in which the teaching and the spiritual influence of the spiritual master are approached within the cultural and institutional setting of devotees. It involves a period of study foundation discipline and basic purification or transformation of the worldly personality. It is not a period of separation from the spiritual master, but it is a period in which the spiritual master is approached and served in or via the form of various cultural agency, agencies. Thus, in the formal setting of study and service, the beginner is served by more mature devotees and with the teaching argument. When devotion to the teaching argument and the good company of devotees has begun to show itself in the form of true service discipline and devotion to the divine, the spiritual master, the company of devotees, the culture and institution of our fellowship and the entire process of the way, then the individual may also rightly and formally enter into occasions of spiritual celebration and meditative retreat at the hermitage sanctuary of the spiritual master. And such occasions will, under optimum circumstances, be a setting for darshan or devotional sighting of the spiritual master and reception of the potent transmission of baptismal grace. 
when hearing and seeing or self-understanding and feeling conversion of the total psychophysical being to the transcendental spiritual divine have become true of the individual, the real practice of the way can begin. That practice is a matter of the daily practical surrender of the psychophysical self to or in the radiant transcendental being. The practice depends on understanding and conversion. It simply expresses the conversion from narcissus or self-contraction to ignorance or total bodily surrender to the radiant transcendental being. Practice itself is a complex but spontaneous art of living that is based upon the science or technical elaboration of the wisdom of the seventh stage of life. That artful science is basically a matter of four fundamental categories of practice, self-discipline, service, conductivity and real meditation. Each of these four categories of the discipline must become the subject of progressive study and adaptation. Therefore, the fellowship maintains a perpetual school for devotees. Each part of the discipline is an expression of understanding, developed as a total body, bodily art, of spiritual equanimity, or a state of personal responsibility in which energy and attention are granted freedom for transcendental spiritual occupation. And such spiritual expression involves a truly human, social and cultural process. Therefore, the fellowship perpetuates itself in the form of a living culture of community or community of devotees. And the entire way of life, represented by the discipline, must be constantly regenerated, refreshed, reawakened and quickened by spiritual transmission. Therefore, devotees maintain and serve the spiritual master in their midst so that the process of access to his company is not disturbed. The three aspects of the way turn attention to the spiritual master and listen to his teaching argument relative to narcissus, divine ignorance and the spiritual way of life. Hearing equals understanding, seeing equals conversion, practice equals the artful sense of equanimity, self-discipline, service, conductivity and real meditation. Da. This is the prelude from the Bach's G minor English Suite. 